Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we will be discussing about GLS that is Global Longitudinal Strain. So in echocardiography, GLS is a simple parameter that helps in the assessment of myocardial deformation. It is an early marker of cardiac dysfunction in the population who are particularly at a higher risk of cardiovascular morbidity and mortality. Now let's understand the term strain. Strain simply means deformation. To make it simple, let's take an example of a spring. Just like a spring has the ability to come back to its original form after stretching, similarly the heart's myocardium has the ability to come back to its original form after the cycles of systole and diastole. Strain value is usually measured in percentage and it can be positive as well as it can be negative. Among all the chambers, LVGLS is the most frequently performed. All of you must be familiar with the 17 segment model of LV in which we have divided LV into three sections basal, mid cavity, and apex, which are further divided into 17 segments. With the help of LVGLS, we will be able to assess the myocardial function of each segment of LV individually. As you can see, the color scale, red color illustrates the normal systolic shortening. Whereas on the other hand, the lighter shades of red and blue denotes reduction in systolic shortening. Here are some examples in which you can see reduction in systolic shortening in some of the regions of LV. So, the main purpose of GLS is to detect and quantify the subtle changes in the myocardial systolic function and to recognize the regional pattern which is more prone to ischemic damage and wall stress. Along with LV, LA and RV GLS are also being performed for the assessment of certain clinical conditions. Optimization of the echo images while performing the GLS is one of the most important aspect. One should acquire chamber focused images in order to perform the GLS. For better understanding of GLS, here are some real time images. LV GLS normal value ranges between minus 18 to minus 20 percent. For RV GLS, normal value ranges between minus 25 to minus 28 percent. Lastly, the LA strain, which is divided into three phases, reservoir, conduit and contractile. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helps.